Hi, my name is Debbie Wetzler. And my name is Jackie Wetzler. Thank you so much for taking 20 minutes of your day to watch this educational Zoom about redox signaling molecules. Debbie, why don't you start by sharing how you were introduced to this technology? Thank you. Um, I was introduced 13 years ago to this by a good friend in Colorado. I lived in the Washington DC area at the time. I took a few minutes to watch a video that went over what redox signaling molecules really are, where they're made, what they did for your body, which Jackie is going to be explaining in just a few minutes. And as I watched it, I thought, if this is true, if this has happened, then this is huge. I can't even imagine. So I took it to a girlfriend of mine who happened to be very smart. She had graduated from Johns Hopkins as a molecular biologist, and she had gotten a job at the National Institutes of Health doing research and overseeing research. And I drove to her house and put the information down in front of her. And she took a look at it and she took a look at me and she almost fell off her chair. She said, Debbie, I have been studying these molecules for 17 years. We've had scientists from around the world come to NIH to try to do this. And you're telling me that somebody was finally able to make and stabilize these molecules outside the human body in a bioactive form? And when I told her yes, she said, you have no idea how massive this is. This was going to change the medical field as we knew it. And she went on to explain what they were, where they were made, and told me that these molecules are very tiny and they would cross the blood-brain barrier. So not only would we have amazing results in the body, we would also have amazing results with all the brain issues that people do have in these days. So I'm going to turn it back over to Jackie so she can explain what redox molecules are and what I learned that day. Absolutely. So I'm just going to share my screen and we're just going to give you a PowerPoint presentation. Okie dokie. First, we're going to tell you what redox is not. It's not a vitamin. It's not a mineral. It's not an antioxidant. It's not an exotic juice. It's not an essential oil, it's not a CBD oil. ASEA goes way beyond nutrition and ingredients. ASEA redox impacts your health at a depth that no other supplement has ever come close to achieving. And it's really been the missing link to so many people's health. This is the first and only cell signaling supplement. It's backed by 23 patents and over 200 trade secrets. We have no competition and no copycats. So when you are young, you make trillions and trillions of these redox signaling molecules. Unfortunately, when we hit puberty, we start losing them by about 1% a year or 10% a decade. And they're really the foundation of everything working in your body. They are what compose your cells to make tissues, then, emit, then make organs, and then make systems which make up you. Redox signaling molecules are made from almost every cell in the body, and they're made when the mitochondria in your cells takes the food you eat and turns into energy. That's when redox signaling molecules uh, are, are produced. And they activate and turn on antioxidants in the body. And they also uh, have our cells signal or communicate to each other. And as they're signaling and communicating to each other, they're going and finding damaged cells anywhere in the body. And then signaling the immune system to let the immune system go and repair and replace any damaged cell. And they are made from salt and water because that is what your cells are made up of. And what happens in your body is that during this cycle, your body splits up the water into hydrogen and oxygen and the salt into sodium and chloride. And your body reconfigures them into many different redox molecules. So for instance, O2 is a redox molecule and H2O2, hydrogen peroxide and HCl. There's several different variations of these atoms to make these different redox molecules. Well, ASEA does the same thing using pure salt and pure uh, water to make the identical same redox signaling molecules that you make in your body. 
So it is completely native to the body and your body knows exactly what to do with them. And as they're going and finding damaged cells everywhere in the body, they regulate and balance every system in the body, putting your body back into homeostasis. So you can imagine, you know, your cardiovascular system, your lymphatic, your nervous system, every sense in the body, they go and find damaged cells. Debbie? And since, and since the photos are worth a thousand words, we show you what redox molecules actually do for the outside of the body, which you can see, as opposed to the organs and the tissues on the inside of your body, which you really can't see. They were able to make a gel, ASEA was able to make a gel out of these molecules by finding a very benign clay to mix it with so we could put it on the outside so you could heal from the outside in. These molecules are so reactive that when you put it in your mouth and swish it around, the receptors under your tongue, take it right into your cell membrane walls. Doesn't go down a normal system. Cell membrane walls, those cells tell the next cells, tell the next cells, and that's why every single cell in your body is looking for damaged cells anywhere so they can send that communication. So the lady on the top, all of these people we know, these have not been photoshopped. It, it lives in Sweden now. And after 21 days of rubbing this on her neck twice a day, her neck went from looking like the one on the left to the one on the right. The man below her is a research veterinarian. He wanted the same cells and the same age cells. And so he put it on half of his face to do a test, his test. And you can really see the difference in the area that he applied it to as opposed to the depth of the wrinkles on the other side of his face. The man next to him had a heel crack which hadn't healed for many, many months. And in just 48 hours, it was looking so much better. And in one week, it was completely gone. And the lady next to him had puffiness under her eyes and some wrinkles around her mouth. And again, <clears throat> those are all damaged cells. So they got the message to uh, repair and replace. The lady up above had an autoimmune problem and it caused damage to her skin. And in just two months, she went from looking like that to you couldn't even tell she had it. The man below her had a skin tag on his eye. Those are damaged cells. They got the message to not replicate because they're damaged. So that dried up and fell off in 16 days. And then the lady to the left had one of those itchy, scaly rashes that people get that there's really nothing in medicine for. And in just three weeks of using the gel and drinking, uh, that was almost all gone. And lastly, our poster child uh, was Rosie, is Rosie. She went from looking at age 84, not very good, to starting to drink this and use the gel. And the life just came back into her face and in her eyes. And she went from looking to completely anti-aging uh, from the way she looked at 84 to the way she looked today at 90. And it's incredible the difference in this lady. And lastly, athletes were calling ASEA and saying, what is this stuff? We're running further, faster, longer, stronger. And so ASEA decided to take it to the North Carolina Research Institute where they tested it first of all to make sure it was redox signaling molecules. So they put, did put it in a half a billion dollar machine and of course it turned out that they were redox. So we have, that was one of our validations. And then before they ever had anyone perform an athletic performance or an event, they gave them the redox molecules. And within 20 minutes, they went into fatty acid metabolism. And that way they were burning the fatty acids around their abdomen and their organ. They were leaving the glycogen and the muscle in their brain where it's needed for an end of the race. So you pull the sugars out then. And so mice ran 29% longer on this product and athletes were doing pretty much the same thing. It was giving them that much more endurance. They recovered that much faster and it also increased the volume of oxygen in their lungs. On the average, about 12%, which is amazing because steroids give you maybe 3% and they are illegal. This is completely legitimate. Uh, we've taken it to WADA, the World Anti-Doping Association or agency. And they have said there's nothing uh, bad in it. And then the Olympic Training Committee. So we've had several Olympic gold medal winners on this product. 
Uh, one of our favorites is Dexter Yates, who started working out when she was 70, and she's now the World Ironman champion in her age group because of ASEA. And many, you can see many of the different athletic performances are enhanced by using this product. And just to let you all know, there is third-party validation. It's backed by a lot of research. We have lots of studies that we are happy to send to you. We don't typically go into the science unless people want it. One study we do like to talk about is the genetic study done by Toro Labs. And they wanted to see what does ASEA do at the genetic level? So it was an eight week study, a double blind placebo controlled study where half the participants got salt water, half the people got ASEA, these redox molecules, and 10 people got nothing as a baseline. And what they found was that of course, nothing happened to the people that drink salt water but 100% of the people who drank these redox signaling molecules had up to a 31% beneficial change in five different areas. And it was your immune system, inflammatory response, which is inflammation, cardiovascular health and arterial elasticity, your gut and digestive health, and then hormone modulation. So balancing your hormones. And your hormones control a lot of other genetic pathways. So these are all the other pathways that ASEA lit up as well. But you might be familiar with some of them. So serotonin, people just became naturally more happy. Circadian rhythm, people get into very deep REM sleep. NRF2, which is oxidative stress. This is now the second study proving that we greatly reduce oxidative stress. Ovarian infertility genes human thyroid stimulating hormone, insulin signaling, spinal cord injury, sudden infant death syndrome. We've seen so many incredible things happen when the body is able to reintroduce fresh redox signaling molecules into their body. My girlfriend who worked at NIH sent me five years later, the article about NIH granting a $10.5 million grant to the Medical University of South Carolina. They followed that up with Cornell, a $2.3 million grant. And of course, Harvard, Wake Forest, Vanderbilt, Universities of Virginia, Nebraska, Wisconsin, Colorado, LSU, uh, Rochester, Stanford, they've all opened redox research centers. This is a huge area of science and only one that we've been be able to tap into. This is not a company with a product. This is an area of science. And like I said, we were able to tap into that. And also just two months ago in June, we had the annual 25th annual Redox Medicine Congress where doctors and scientists from around the world flew in to see what new things redox molecules could do for the human body or any living thing. Lastly, we urge you, if you're going to do research on your own, please don't just use Google. Google is not a search engine. It's not a research engine, it is a search engine. And so when you go on there, you'll find good and bad, like you do with everything. But if you go to googlescholar.com, you will find over 1.6 million articles on redox signaling molecules. And they have been gone over and looked at before they were posted. And you can also go to the National Library of Medicine, which is pubmed.gov. And you can type in redox, redox signaling, redox signaling molecules, Depending on what you put in, you get anywhere from around 40,000 to 500,000 different peer-reviewed medical studies done using redox signaling molecules. So at this point, the person who sent this to you could get your questions answered, send you more information, or educate someone else you think could use this. So, or you could get started, whatever, it, the choice is up to you. We just want to thank you so much for listening. Thank you all.